Hey, this is Landon from Quinta 5 Axis CNC, and today I'm working on the Y axis assembly. The Y axis allows this gantry to move forwards and backwards using linear rails and ball screws, creating the ability to cut material at different locations in the YZ plane. I began today's build by using my spring loaded center punch to make indentations in the 50 by 100 millimeter aluminum extrusion. Using a center punch before drilling allows you to keep holes in the exact spot that you want them. I purchased all the extrusion I'll be using in this project from 8020.net and I'll put a link to their website in the description below. After I punched out all the holes I needed, I took my extrusion over to the drill press where I created holes for my linear rails and bearing blocks. I drilled all the holes I was using for my linear rails with a 2.5mm drill bit so that I could later tap them out with an M3 tap. I drilled all the holes for my bearing blocks with a 5mm drill bit so I could later tap them out with an M6 tap. After drilling, I took all my extrusions over to my little workbench where I tapped out all the holes I created. And now it's finally time to cut my linear rails down to size. I used an angle grinder and it went through them just like butter. I purchased these rails from eBay and got a pretty good deal. I received two rails, 1600 millimeters each, with two bearing blocks. The quality of them seems pretty nice. With my rails cut to size, I put them on my extrusion and began screwing them in. I put my bearing blocks onto the linear rails and tested their travel. It was very smooth. I 3D printed a test gantry to make sure all my holes were in the correct alignment before I had one milled out of a quarter inch thick aluminum. I screwed my test gantry into my ball screw guide block. After setting up the test gantry, it was time to take care of the bearing blocks. Both bearing blocks sit on 3D printed spacing shims that allow for proper clearance between all the components. I went ahead and screwed those blocks in using the M6 screws. The final thing left for me to do was to screw my test gantry onto my HD15 linear carriages.
Here's a test of how it all travels using a drill to turn my ball screw. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, I'll be attaching this assembly onto the rest of the frame as well as assembling my X axis. If you're interested in following the progress of this build, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for the channel, leave a like on the video, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.